Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld where we have made a couple of little changes to the mods that we're using at the moment that we're going to uh, be checking out. The main change that we've made involves animals. Now I'm currently running with a mod, if I actually go into options it should show, uh, Animal Logic, there we go. Animal logic changes some very, very important things. Now, first and foremost, it allows renaming of animals. We can just choose to rename them. Next, prevents animals from eating random stuff. If it has no nutritional value, for example, drugs like alcohol, they won't eat it. So that's good. Um, predators hunting our pawns are all hostile to your faction. So from now on, if a wolf decides it wants to eat one of our husky pups, then all of our turrets and all of our colonists will react as if it were an enemy they won't just walk uh, let it walk straight past them they'll start fleeing all kinds of craziness will occur some of them will just straight up attack now you can convert eggs into chicken eggs um unfertilized chicken eggs if they're ruined by temperature uh, i'm gonna say no to that they should just be dumped um convert any generic animal meat into chicken meat upon butchering this will probably keep your stockpile super super nice but no, I don't think so. Uh, more fighting back for melee threats. That's a kind of a double-edged sword. It means your animals will respond to attacks by attacking back more often, but also wildlife will as well. So if you've got animals that tend to go out and hunt for food, you're probably going to need to tend them a lot more because they're going to get a lot of scrapes. Uh, assign master automatically when obedience training. That is now off, thank goodness. And additionally, wilderness effect on training. Now, this one's a, this one's a kind of an important one. There is a difference between training and taming. Taming is taking an otherwise wild animal and kind of coaxing it to trust you, to trust the colony, to be a part of the colony, for the colony to be considered a part of its pack, for example. That still has the same effect with wilderness. If it's a particularly wild animal, that's very hard, but more importantly, it has an increased chance that on failure, the animal will simply attack. It'll feel threatened or anxious and it will, it will respond by attacking the person who failed to tame it. Now, training, on the other hand, is something you can only do when it's already accepted you, when it's already decided that you're, you're safe, you're not an immediate threat to it, or, or perhaps that you're, you're even part of its quote-unquote, its pack, its family. So here, wilderness effect has been reduced by to 85% of the norm. So when you're training something, um, it will have a, a reduced effect versus taming it, but the effect will still be there. And I think that does make a bit of sense, uh, particularly, you know, because you, you see things occasionally of, of, of trained animals like bears or something like that mauling a keeper just whilst they're doing some sort of stunt. And that's because they never truly tame. They, they have chosen to accept you. It's especially true with birds of prey. Birds of prey... It's a very trust-based relationship, and you only need to lose that trust once, and then it's gone forever. Um, and so I, I actually quite like that little mod there. Now then, we've got a lot of stuff to do around the colony, sorting things out. I'm actually sort of thinking I might change some stuff up here. Um, let's have a look at this. Now, on the surface, I kind of like what we've got going. Uh, I'm actually going to move this one around. Let's reinstall that one there. There we go. Now, I would like, I think I would like to have these set up like this. I'd like these to kind of be dining tables or like larger tables for people to talk talk at. And so let's uh, make sure all of these are going to be superior or better. And then we're going to take down the, oh, that's a massive work, tiny table. We're going to uninstall that one and put it somewhere else. That was an excellent one. But we've got pretty good constructors, so I'm just going to break that one down. But a master work is a master work. Uh, so we're going to build those down, and we're going to put up larger tables there. But additionally, I think I would like to have kind of sunken in area. I wouldn't mind if people wanted to eat meals in here. Likewise, I wouldn't mind if people wanted to maybe drink beer in here. And ultimately, I wouldn't mind if people also wanted to uh, perhaps smoke some smoke smoke leaf in here as well i think that would actually be pretty cool i think that would genuinely be pretty cool uh you know what you can just are you trapped in there please tell me you're not no you're not good there we are uh we are starting to look like we're doing a bit nastily on food though hmm, have we got many animals on the map uh ooh, wildlife i mean uh, yeah we've got loads of elk yeah we've got quite a lot uh horror story how are you doing there uh, you're still recovering. Okay, fair enough. 
Uh, Wilson, you've got a LMG. Let's not. Let's see if we've got a shotgun around for you. We do not. That makes me sad. Uh, does anyone have a shotgun? Flugels has a shotgun. Madden has a shotgun. Very well. Madden, Flugels, you're coming along. And, um... Valerie... I think you're going to get an upgrade. Yeah, you're going to go and grab a, a an assault rifle. Actually, Valerie, you're going to grab a good assault rifle, no less. Uh, let's make that sure that's un, uh, unrestricted. Oh, dear. What? Really? You're being chased down. Flee! Flee! Get inside! No, don't run. Why? Why? You were already running in the right direction. Why are you going this way? No, Rapsy, you've got a scratch from a rat now. Ah, my lord. Dark Havoc, will you please come and kill a rat? Ah, oh well. Uh, right, let's get you down here. And we're going to also bring along Valerie as well. Let's get everyone down there. We're going to do a bit of hunting, I think. All of the hunting, perhaps, even. There we go. We'll have to take all of these out. <laughs> I love the rats like, ah, come back here, I can't catch you. Really? Really, Valerie? All these people with scratches from rats? Those, those are going to be nasty wounds, you know. You better go and uh, tend those immediately, please. And thank you. I should always say thank you. Uh, right, let's get some uh, door masters to make sure that uh, filth isn't spread all over the place in there. I'm sorry, Valerie. <laughs> You're going out to hunt, and you've already got a scratch from the rat. It's not a particularly good omen, I will confess. Oh, do you got another rela uh, relationship in a raid? Uh, the mercenary slasher Vera uh, horror story is it? What? Wait a second. Horror story. Haven't we already met your mother? Hmm. Uh, no, apparently, apparently we have not. Welcome then. In that case, I must have been thinking of a different colonist. Oh, oh my good lord. Uh, it appears that they arrived alongside a pack of man-hunting wags. This is awesome. They were chased here by wags. Glorious. Right, well, that requires some very special attention. In that case, let's get everyone somewhere safe. Every single person somewhere safe right now. Please, all of you, all of you safe. Right now, let's get... Uh, oh, unfortunately, many of the traps have not been reset yet. That always seems to take a long time for anyone to do. But, uh, well, the raid is going to be completely messed up. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really super messed up. There's a lot of fire, though. Lots of the bugs are uh, dying. Only a handful of them actually made it through. Though all of the meat, all of the meat, no, it's going to burn. Oh, that's ratchet. That is super bad. Super duper bad. Okay, well, uh, Rhapsody... Please flick all of the switches. And for once, we're actually going to make sure that we set people up in something of a reasonable way. And then we're going to save that so we don't have to do it again and again and again. Uh, Dark Havoc, you can kind of sit out there. We'll have Horasaur behind you and we'll have Wilson down there. Right, there we go. That is a good setup, I think. Let's go ahead and save that. There we go. Katie, I uh, kind of super like you to be in there. Rhapsody, also sort of really like you to not be outside. Uh, actually, Katie, why are these not flicked? Kind of think they should have been flicked first. Oh, wait, Katie, actually, ah, uh, yeah. I did make a slight change to Katie in that pr whole, um, prior to was a two. But for KD, hauling itself is a one. Uh, I guess that does make things awkward, doesn't it? I guess I'll, guess I'll put it on a two for you as well. So you'll just do hauling before cleaning. That, that should work then. Let's get everything turned on, please. Include the military turrets. They're like the best ones. They're the super awesome ones. And finally, this one as well. Right, now I want you to hide. Forever. Right, exhaustion. Poor Jana. You're pretty tired. Oh, my lord. Uh, well, we haven't yet built up our defenses over there, so this one might be a little bit rough. I, I don't know. I, it doesn't look like they're trying to get that way. Thankfully, they tend to be a little bit more straightforward, uh, Manhunter Packs. Uh, oh, all of that beautiful, beautiful meat. All of it gone. That makes me so sad. So incredibly, incredibly sad. 
Uh, we'll leave the weapons on for now, but I would sort of like you to maybe all get out here and try and put out this fire. Maybe save some of the meat. As much as it pains me to eat wags, it still, I mean, they, they already pre-cooked wags. Oh, never mind. It looks like Mother Nature has come to the rescue for once. Mother Nature actually gives a damn about our survival. Oh, there was still more. Oh, isn't that a bit of a bit of a worry? Maybe I should have double-checked that first. Oh, well, it's done now. It's done. And um, maybe some of these wags will survive. Maybe they won't. Maybe things will actually be okay. Maybe they won't. But it doesn't look like they're all going to be cooked, at the very least. Uh, I would actually like them to be hauled back as a kind of high priority. Uh, same with the the wags over here. Is it was there one alive? Yes, there is one alive. Let's have a look at you. Male wag, H seven, downed. Let's have a look at you. Mm. And you're quite quite wild. I could have Dark Havoc try. <sighs> okay. Dark Havoc, try to rescue the Warg. Please don't mess this up, because it is probably one of the few creatures that could actually just straight up rip your face off. Catch you at the wrong moment, and suddenly Dark Havoc lack in the face. Though, on the plus side, I'm not sure Dark Havoc would be as, uh, would be as worried about that eventuality as most people. Like, ah, it's just another reason to get more bionics, I suppose. Uh, let's make sure everything is being trained as well. Thank you. And go. Everyone do your best now. Try and rescue that papa, please. I mean, the puppas, they were mad. They were going to try and eat us. It's just a thing that was going to transpire, okay? Now, this papa, hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about you, frankly. Can we try and tame you? I hope so. <sighs> maybe, maybe it'll go a little bit better if it's, if it's in there amongst the rest of the pack as well. But there's definitely a possibility that that will happen. There's also a possibility it will try to eat some of my husky pups. That would make me sad. That would make me reasonably upset, actually. Uh, could you... Please prioritize butchering all the people so everyone stops having nightmares every time they walk into the freezer. They can just have a couple of nightmares for a little while from the knowledge that you butchered them. But uh, those, I think this is ultimately a much better way of doing it. Okay, Dark Alex again. The last bit of our hunting and the war grade all chopped up so that uh, we've got plenty of food for the chefs to be able to uh, turn into delicious, delicious meals. Uh, the rest of the colony is doing actually fairly well. We haven't had anything interrupt us for a little while, though in before that causes a horrible uh, insect infestation or something similar. But uh, we've still got a little bit of work to do over here. Ooh. Yep, yep, the wag just went mad and is attacking Yumiko. Oh, dear sweet Yumiko. Sorry, wag. I, I really wanted you to survive, but is anyone closer? There's bound to be a couple of people close. Come on. <laughs> Horror story. Get in there. Melee attack the wag. Same with you, Wilson. Melee attack the wag. Take its attention off Yumiko. Oh, no. No, it's eating the rest of Yumiko. This this is actually quite horrible. It's just it's it's biting out poor Yumiko's eyes. It's going to bite out Wilson's eyes. Uh, alas. Alas. This is what we get for being kind. No, no, sorry, not this time. Finish it off. Yoink, there we go. And then please prioritize down in Yumiko. However, don't worry Yumiko, because we can more or less rebuild you now. We have the technology. Uh, there we go, Yumiko, you'll be fine. Don't you worry. Your tiny little husky heart. Right, actually on that note, we need uh, a new eye. In fact, we need to research all of this. How close are we to finishing our current research? Um, we are currently researching shredder turrets. Okay, well, it's not going to take too long, I suppose. Uh, we will allow it, I, I guess. Uh, we can have some shredder turrets around here so that if anyone actually gets through here under the hail of gunfire from the military grade turrets, they will then have to deal with shredder turrets as well, which I think will be a perfect solution. Uh, however, power wise, doing all right. Doing quite all right. Oh, poor Yumiko. Don't worry. We will make you new bits. I have installed a... Uh, well, the reason why we couldn't make um, animal prosthetics, why we apparently lost the ability to do so, 
is because previously the way that the a dog said mod worked is that it had a patch which allowed it to work with the uh, enhanced prosthetics mod in that you could use their workbenches to um, create the the animal prosthetics however the mod was then updated so that it just worked with the enhanced prosthetics mod naturally you didn't need a separate version of the of the mod but in so doing also removed the compatibility in that it could you could just have it build the components on the uh, enhanced prosthetics mods added um, workbenches such as the bionic workbench so we do now need to research and build a workbench to create animal prosthetics bit of a pain but ultimately you know it'll work out for us i think uh, i would love it if someone would move that for me could you do that for me just get the meds into the actual hospital would be grand has this uh, maintained yeah it should have it looks like it has yeah glorious that will work fine uh right where's madden at the moment and what is madden doing hauling steel to a plastic military grade turret fantastic we've also got shredder turrets marvelous right we want simple animal prosthetics and then animal bionics please those are the things that we most most need in all of the world uh could you please turn those off there we go that is a bit better madden is pretty much our only dedicated um constructor right now so everything takes a little while to get get built but on the plus side you know tends to get built to a very high quality which is always good uh what's going on in here oh well done madden we are building the weaving room just off from the farm i think that's going to be brilliant flurgles uh, that flurgles always trying to help and for that i uh, actually do approve but uh madden really is the best at doing this still haven't got the majority of these having been rearmed and that worries me a lot the main reason why that is a problem is well you see the problem is we, we've swapped all of these out so now there's just not enough people who work on it so given that uh let's go ahead and just have oh well that's not gonna quite work we've got three people one two three four five six okay well we'll also have horror story help out with that as well then we just need more people doing hauling so that they will actually try and rearm these traps it's a shame that they are considered um hauling duties rather than constructing because that's where i would have put it uh, but oh well the reason why i would have preferred that is that um, construction is quite often a primary role whereas hauling and cleaning very rarely are how are things going in here uh, not terribly bad i suppose i could prioritize moving things out of here but honestly the huskies are doing a fantastic job of that right now well done huskies also dark havoc really enjoying his raw human meat Oh, bless his little cotton socks. I mean, human leather socks. Okay. We have more or less re uh, removed this entire area, so it's time for us to do something special. We need a proper vault. And I'm thinking maybe something around here with a little door there, just for Luciferium, pretty much. Well, maybe we'll make it a little bit larger. We'll make it that large so we can have a, an array of drugs that we just don't want people having access to forever. Uh, let's make sure that we get this whole place torn down and that's pretty much it for us then we can finally get a geotherm up here and that is going to solve pretty much all of our food problems right you can bring that in please and indeed thank you uh, another wag just deteriorating out there that's a bit of a shame uh, in terms of food we're doing okay we're getting through our meat stocks and we've certainly gone through a lot of our human meat stocks um there's been a lot of training going on um no don't want any following around in fact if dark avac isn't the you're not bonded with dark avac then i don't want you setting dark avac automatically as your master either let's just uh, make sure that it's only bonded animals are ever going to have dark avac as their master uh, we've got a couple of muffalo that are trained for obedience. Uh, I mean, you could do that just to rise their their um, value, honestly, if nothing else. But for the time being, I think we're doing okay. As you can see, generally the colony is actually fairly clean. People have gotten gotten their uh, their 
heads together and have gone to work. They've done everything I needed them to do. This place is still kind of chock-a-block full of things, and we need a better place to put them. Uh, down here, actually looking really nice. Once we've got some really nice uh, um, art to go in there, it's going to be even better. Let's pop that one there and that one there, and then we'll start on the next section as well. Has named Muffalo 5 Trip after being nuzzled. Oh, you're doing a... You're being clever there, Trip. Well played. Very, very clever. Also, that needs to go. That one shouldn't have been built there. Uh, but we'll basically move one sarcophagus at a time down the row. And these little spots here have already been uh, earmarked either for um, plants or perhaps for some really nice statues, some large um, artworks that can go in there. And then we'll just have plants, uh, plant pots uh, flanking the sarcophagi. I quite like that idea. Uh, we've got a fairly decent amount of feed down here, but yeah, it could be a little bit better. We've got a couple of people coming here to visit as well. Uh, maybe we won't prioritize this being pulled down just yet then. Let, let them uh, make use of that that area. They, they are most certainly welcome. I've also called in a trader. Now, what I would really love you guys to do is to research. There we go. I didn't set up the research previously by accident, but then when I realized I hadn't done it, it was like, well, actually, I'm kind of enjoying having all of that extra manpower around just to get things sorted. And I think we've done a good job. The The colony is looking really, really bloody good, and it hasn't looked this good in a long time. Uh, are you bleeding? Whose blood is that? Blood of Noriko. Five. What? It's just not been cleaned up. That's kind of awful. All right, where is the trader who we can actually trade with? One of you we can trade with, I'm sure of it. Really? You're moving extremely slow, I must say. Uh, you have some... Ooh, your medicine. I wouldn't mind buying that off you, actually. Wouldn't mind buying that off you at all. Soon, though, we're going to have a proper proper area for, for visitor apartments, and it's going to look amazing. And uh, they're going to really enjoy their stay from that point forward, I should imagine. Let's get a light over there just to illuminate this area a little bit better. That one's actually looking very nice there. Let's pop that one down. Make sure that this one is also set up for superior or indeed better, but not less. Wait a second. What's happening? Yuma, did you just pick a fight? Has Yuma gone mad? I urgently hungry, very tired, in a little plane, slept outside, feeling bad, disturbed sleep, wearing worn out apparel, uncomfortable. Did you just knife my medic? Or well, spear my medic, I guess. Um, I have no idea what went on there, but I don't approve of it. Don't make dark. Okay. Okay, that's... No. No, that's not... You don't come come into my house and then just start attacking my, my colonists. That's that's not how that's not how things operate with Dark Havoc. You are going to pay the ultimate price. We can't let you go back to wherever you came from and, and tell stories of it. You just walked in and knifed people and we just let you go? No. Afraid not. This is the end for you. Maybe. How badly have you wounded him? Have we cut anything off? Okay. No, that's fair enough. You have lost your hand as penance for your crimes. We will now treat you, you scallywag. But your items now belong to us. As well as your hand. Your hand is also staying. That now belongs to Dark Avak too. He is going to enjoy eating it. He might sit on the end of your medical bed whilst you're being treated. After having, you know, stitched it up. Just eating your hand. Glaring at you menacingly. I approve of this course of action, Dark Avak. Truly I do. Uh, unfortunately, our other medics... Ah, uh, man, really? Um, go ahead. Go. What are you up to? What are you doing, Dark Avak? Waiting for human leather cargo shorts. Uh, Alright, no, that's fair enough. Not tending to Yuma. No, you tend to Rhapsody first. If Yuma survives long enough, then Yuma can be can be treated. You die in 4.6 hours. No, that is just the way it goes, I'm afraid. There we go. Well done. Now we treat Wilson. Oh, you and me actually die. Um, come on. Absolutely enjoyed his stay. He left you some rat meat. They were glad to leave the, that scallywag behind. Did they actually collect him? <laughs> they did. He might not survive. <laughs> I think they understand that he brought this on himself, though. Well done. That actually worked out pretty good, I think. I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, though you do actually need to... Tr yeah, I was, gonna about, I was about to say, you do need to be tended to, Dark Avec. I, I know it was funny and all, but please don't die. Uh, let's get Dark Avec back to bed. 
Uh, right, yes, please. Just treat Dark Abba like major wounds. Ah, oh, Dark Abba, you do push yourself sometimes. I mean, I appreciate how hilarious that situation did turn out to be in the end, but come on. Uh, right, did that trader actually drop by yet? Or did they leave immediately? I see them not. They may have immediately left. That would actually be kind of awful. Um, yeah, I think they may have actually left. Well, that is just super unfortunate for us. Uh, we paid good money to get them here. I think they probably just popped onto the mountain and was like, Yeah, yeah, we're leaving now, bye. <sighs> okay, well, we'll call someone else then. Let's call these guys. Um, would you like to pop down about Goods Trader? <sighs> we lost a little bit of money off that scallywag. Just only wanted to stab our people. But uh, hopefully the, uh, the intimidation factor will move around. Oh, no, there they are. Uh, okay. Maybe I misread a bunch of things. Never mind. Oh, well, we're going to have another bulk goods trader in a couple of days then. That isn't actually a bad thing. Let's get you in. All of our traps have been rearmed. Generally, things are where they need to be, and I'm super happy with this. Uh, major break risk, though. Flurgles and severe illness still for Dark Ever. What's up? You lost a lot of blood, I know, but there's no reason to, to whinge and moan about it. You, you've, you've got... Look. You... <laughs> You've got a crack in your bionic leg. I, I was like, I'm trying to read it. You, you've got a crack in your spear? What? When did I give you a spear as a body part? I see now what that meant. You've got a crack in your leg. You also stabbed it. <laughs> you were stabbed in the neck. I didn't even pay attention. And then you treated everyone. Well done, Dark Avak. Classic Dark Avak, that one. Right, let's uh, get down here and have a chat with the person we need to have a chat to and sell loads of things. Hopefully, we're also going to buy all your chocolate. Okay, there we go. We are going to pretty much buy all of your chocolate, all of your food. And we're also going to sell you 1,000 cloth because we just don't need it. Uh, we're also getting the components of Nutramine that you have too. Um, 1,500 human leather. Again, just don't need that much. We're going to buy 379 steel and sell pretty much all of our dead man's and shoddy um, items of clothing. Which I think is a pretty, pretty good deal, actually. Uh, we're going to end up still making 458 despite buying all of your good stuff however that good stuff now needs to be really urgently hauled uh, i mean i guess the steel doesn't matter but since it can be stacked there we go simple animal prosthetics yay now animal bionics please it shouldn't take you too long wilson you're actually a really good researcher to be fair to you uh on the sly wilson is pretty awesome at research uh, this place still a little bit of room to, to continue work there. We've still got to get this area done so that we can build the weaving uh, setup so we can actually get all of that wool, wool turned into wool clo cloth so we've got the best kind of rug here possible. It's really, really nice. If we have, actually have a look at what it looks like, it's got a three for uh, the, the flooring, which is very, very nice indeed. Poor old Dark Avac. Uh, still still kind of busted up. But yeah, you're healing quickly now. you still got severe blood loss, but you know. Uh, prevents infection, good. Uh, blood loss severe, 59%. Consciousness minus 40. It's going to take you a while to regrow your blood. Don't worry, though. It's fine. Just think of this as, as, as giving blood for the cost. You basically gave blood in exchange for being able to chop someone's hand off and then laugh as they got carried away before they were tended with the almost certainty that they were going to die on the, on the trip home. Well done, Dark Alec. You know where priorities need to be. Uh, a group from Alotium Equal Confederation are visiting. Uh, okay. Well, you're more than welcome to join us. How are we doing for food? Mm. We need to go on a hunt. Yes, we do. We have got some lavish meals, though. So Dark Alec has got some really fancy knots. Excellent. Uh, how are we doing for medicine? Yeah, we haven't got enough. We need some proper medicine so we can finish off the medical beds. But that shouldn't be too bad. Let's have a go and uh, have another quick a trade. See what we can buy. Um, I don't need the survival meals, frankly. But I would like the medicine. I'll take that off your hands. And we finished Animal Bionics. Fantastic. Now, honestly, I'm not sure where we need to go. Uh, we could look into advanced bionics, brain surgery, synthetic organs, all of these kinds of things. We could even look at Megasol, which honestly I think we've got a good chance of being able to make a lot of if we really wanted to. Uh, the unfortunate thing here is I, I've got all sorts of things that I need to 
see what other things they they build off of but one thing that we haven't done forever is make circuit breakers um whilst our fuses haven't gone off too often there's a good chance that that might be useful so i'm just gonna key that in right now and see if there's anything else i want to replace it with pemmican would be useful for setting up long journeys though and that is something that we've really been kind of uh dragging our feet with a little bit uh deep drilling also quite nice powered armor multi bar shield belt this now that is starting to get into places where i would really like to be um uh, powered armor is quite useful though we could pick up mortars just to gain some of the other benefits um well you know what super soul we probably could do it, but it's three thousand sure okay we're gonna try it we're gonna go for super soul See if we can't get all of that set up. We have all but finished this room now. I just need to get some floors down and I can move in the freezer for the um, food. Maybe even a freezer for some alcohol. I'm actually not sure. Does alcohol require freezing? I, I completely forget. But we'll probably have a freezer for that as well. As well as some shelves to allow our colonists to just uh, partake of some uh, some chemical refreshments. Uh, let's go ahead and set that. Oh, that's fantastic. Everyone on the couch is going to be able to see and everyone on the seats will be able to see. That mega screen was worth every single tiny penny we paid. And by tiny penny, I mean awfully, awfully large amounts of money. Uh, right. We want a couch. And of course, they, well, you know what? Let's, let's make the couch out of caribou leather. Yeah, you know what? We've got enough. We've got enough to, frankly... Well, I mean, <laughs> we've got so much that I'm surprised there are any more caribou, uh, if I'm perfectly honest. But let's go ahead and set this up. I was going to say we've got enough to, to sink a battleship. And then I was like, how on earth would you sink a battleship with caribou leather? Unless you mean literally just dumping her on top and weighing it down. I suppose that would work, but we haven't got that much caribou leather. That's just silly. Um, and, and just, mind you, is it more silly than the idea of caribou leather torpedoes? Uh, probably not when I think about it. Uh, however, I really, really, really must insist that all of these get made to at least superior quality. We don't want anything that's less than superior. In fact, that table needs to be pulled down because it's, it's a bloody short, it's a normal table. How dare you even, even suggest that we would be all right with a normal table in our awesome room here. My goodness, perish the thought. However, we do, I believe, have some art somewhere. What are we working on there? Large sculpture, where are the sculptures being taken to? Are our sculptures being brought over here? If so, I want to have a look at them. No, they don't seem to be there. Are they being brought down here for some strange reason I can't even fathom? No, it appears not as well. Hmm, curious. Uh, however, I am also digging all of this away uh, with a mind to building down a wall that we are then going to be able to set um, power lines to because I would like to set up some um, shredder turrets around here. The other thing I want to do is I actually want to make these double thick. Uh, let's pop these down just to increase how much punishment these walls can withstand. Uh, given that, yeah, that door being there is fine. It will mean that people will be able to cluster in there, but only really one person at a time, generally speaking. Uh, let's get that built there. So this is going to become a much more deadly area. We do have our military grade turrets here, firing down there. This one's got a particularly nice line of sight. The moment they get to this water, they're going to be in, in range of this. But some weapons will outrange it. So, you know, there may occasionally be need for us to have a sniper backing this up, but we have got room there if we want to eventually set up some sort of um, precision turret, a sniper turret, effectively, and that would be very, very nice for us. Got some kibble down here, that's good. Uh, broken down heater, that's fine. Precious minerals found. Ooh, a long-range mineral scanner has found a lump of precious resources nearby. We don't know who or what, if anything, might be guarding it. Oh, that's fantastic. So it's just going to tell us where there are places where I could send a party to maybe go and grab hold of some useful things. Maybe gold, silver, jade, who knows. But that's actually pretty cool. Oh my goodness, nearby my backside. That is a bajillion years away. However, it didn't say anything about this eventually uh, running down. A mineable lump of precious resources. Yeah, no, maybe. So this is basically giving us... Uh, mining colonies that we can go to. 
little area we can go to, quickly dig them up and see what we get. But we'd have to take a caravan with us. And that's 23 days away. In April, May. I don't think we're going to be doing that one. But since it's not going to run out, maybe eventually we will. I don't know. But that, that's a really, really interesting structure there. And you'll also notice that I have expanded out my uh, my ring of moisture pumps. These are slated for, for demolition. It's just going to take us a little while. But once that's done, we are going to have some really good growing areas back here. I am looking forward to that. We'll probably set up some... Uh, tree nurseries and uh, just get a bit of growing done inside there let's go and have a chat with brit let's see brit have you got anything we want to buy i wouldn't mind your chocolate actually we've got so much money uh all your bear meat all your beefs beef wow when was the last time you saw a cow my goodness um i wouldn't mind taking your neutron mine but uh, that's just be me being lazy really I wouldn't mind taking that though. Uh, your cloth is fine, you can keep that. Your steel, I would definitely like. Um, let's see, not too many things to sell at this point, unfortunately, because we've generally been doing a very good job of trading. So, it comes down to cloth, really. I could sell a, a redonkulous amount of elk hide. We've always got elk hide. Goat hide can go. Mega soft leather, I'm thinking of keeping though. Um, the timber wool skin can go. Um, the human leather, I guess I could sell a lot of it. We could sell, let's say, 705. Bring us down to a 1,000. That uh, seems like a reasonable point to stop. Beaver skin, alpaca hike and go. Wool cloth, we've got enough to do everything we want. The muffalo wool. Hmm. Well, I do quite like it, but we actually just shear that. So we can keep that. And the mega sloth wool at this point as well. We can keep all of it. We've already made our money. That is amazing. We are doing so well with the trading. Oh my goodness, I'm really feeling that this colony it has hit some sort of turning point and is really starting to come together now. There were, there were a few points where I was like, I'm not sure how long we can, we're going to be able to sustain this. I'm a little bit concerned, to say the least. But at this point, I'm actually feeling that the colony is really starting to come into its own. It's, it's got its second wind. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe I've just got my second win with this colony, and uh, I am enjoying it right now. Certainly I am. But that is going to be the end of this episode. I do hope you all enjoyed, and of course, will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as ever, do take care of yourselves, and let me know if you fancy a, a rename of some of the animals. Now it's significantly easier for me to do, because before, I will confess, as much as I wanted to rename all the animals, that was going to be really difficult. Also, we've got a psychic ship. So, that'll be fun in the next episode. But again, until then, take care, everyone.